top of the morning to you, Hamilton. This is Mr. Kilmer. Today is March 17th, 2020, and today is St. Patrick's Day. I hope you're having a very happy St. Patrick's Day. As you can tell, I'm wearing green, which is what a lot of people wear on St. Patrick's Day. That's the color that you wear. So look down at what you're wearing and think, am I wearing green? If not, maybe you could go and add some green to your outfit today. That would be a great way to look very St. Patrick's-y today. Since it's St. Pa it's St. Patrick's Day, I thought, how great would it be if I could read you a St. Patrick's Day story? We are going to be reading How to Catch a Leprechaun. And this um, story is written by Adam Wallace, and the pictures are by Andy Elkerton. Ooh. Shamrock's very St. Patrick's Day. How to Catch a Leprechaun. The night is dark, the streets are quiet. St. Patrick's Day is near. I tap my hammer so you'll know the leprechaun is here. Let's see, hold on. I'll put I'll put out all your laces, put glitter in your hair, and when you walk around, you'll see my gold coins everywhere. The leprechaun loves to cause mischief. You'll never catch me in your trap, but yes, I'll make a scene. I'll turn the whole place upside down. Your toilet will be green. House number one, I'm going in. Really? That's your trap? I'm in and out without a doubt. That one was a snap. And now I think it's getting worse. A shoebox on a stick. I'll dance a jig and still escape. We leprechauns are quick. Another house, I fixed your shoes. They really were quite smelly. I'll eat the nuts you left as bait and leave with a full belly. Put their shoes in the sink. It's that leprechaun. Now you're talking, look at this. It's dandelion tea. But I'm too speedy for your trap. This tea is mine for free. Ooh, look at that trap. Very creative. I know you want my pot of gold. That iron cage was clever, but I've been alive 200 years. You won't catch me ever. <gasps> the little boy got caught. Ha 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 ha. Now you're getting fancy. But I'll escape with twinkle toes. It's a fancy pantsy dancy. Mm. It seems to be to me an engineer has helped with this design. Too bad this little leprechaun is going to be just fine. Oh boy. Your entire house is one big trap, from the ceiling to the floor. Nice try indeed, but soon enough I'll stroll right out the door. Oh, very high tech. Look, there's even a sign that says, Totally safe place for leprechauns. Pretty sneaky. The leprechaun be gone 3000 gave me quite a scare. But without a four-leaf clover, I won't be caught in there. Wow. Very high tech. You'll never catch this leprechaun. Impossible. That's a fact. Unless one day a brilliant child designs the perfect trap.
But who will that child be? Better luck next year. So not one of them was able to catch this leprechaun. I want you to think back to some of the different traps they tried. Think back, what were some of the ones they did? I remember someone used a metal cage to try and trap him. I like the little girl who had kind of a slingshot set up with her stuffed unicorns and she was trying to hit him with different ones. And there was the leprechaun, there was the machine, what was that called? The Leprechaun Be Gone 3000. All sorts of different traps set to catch this leprechaun, but none of them worked. And at the end, he kind of gave a little bit of a challenge. He said, who will that child be? I wonder, could that child be you? Could you come up with a really good plan to trap a leprechaun? If you have a really good plan, you probably shouldn't just keep it in your head. You should write it down. So that's our literacy challenge for you for today. Who can write out the perfect plan to catch a leprechaun? Since it's a plan and you're putting things in a certain order, when you're writing it, you should try some sequence words like first, then, next, last, after that, finally. All those words will really help make your directions very clear. And I think since this leprechaun is pretty sneaky, it would probably be a good idea if you wrote out your plan and included pictures of what, what each step looked like. Seems like it would be a pretty fun thing to do on St. Patrick's Day. So that's our challenge today. See if you can come up with the best plan to catch the sneaky little leprechaun. Maybe if you have some time today, you could even design and build your trap. That would be a pretty cool thing to do. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please tune in tomorrow. We're going to be doing another story and I'm gonna give you a new literacy challenge. I hope you're having a great day. Know your teachers and everyone at Hamilton misses you. And I hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. All right, have a great one, everyone. Bye-bye.